Hey there, so today we have an unboxing. Um, Katie just went to uh, Portland slash Salem area. And so I reached out to famous beer writer, Jeff Allworth, who uh, has written the Beer Bible. And a new edition of that came out, I believe, uh, last year. So she actually bought me that version of the book too, um, which I have over there. But uh, he was actually really nice enough to reply to an email. I said like, hey, listen, um, uh, Katie will be up there like, what should I grab? Like, you know, like, you know, what's good? Just go to a bottle shop. So he actually recommended a bottle shop and um, he gave a whole list and the person at the bottle shop was nice enough to um, get it all wrapped up. And then Katie's friend was able to then box it up for me and send it down because uh, obviously shipping the beer, luggage, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, it was all shipped here and I uh, appreciate you guys on the channel. Uh, I can't wait to see what I got from Portland area. Uh, we got a bunch of beers to review. So what do we have here? This is Fort George three-way IPA. This has actually been sent to me before. Absolutely delicious. Um, fresh? Yeah, fresh. I mean, she was just there last month. and So, Fort George IPA. This is from Gigantic. Uh, this stuff usually be actually sent to New York. So Gigantic, this is the International Coffee Caramel Stout. Man, we have a lot to go through. Nice, what's this? Uh, okay. Von Ebert? Yeah, I was just listening to a podcast with Von Ebert. Von Ebert, this is their rice lager with tea. Interesting, interesting. What else do we have? That is a big box, so you know what? Let's put all this stuff, I don't know where to put it all. I'll give her the, oh. Well, there's a cider here. What is this? This is from uh, Two Town Cider House, made with Marion blackberries. My friend, my friend picked that and sent it. Yes, so she picked that one out. Uh, Zoigel House, nice, Zoigel Kush. So, yeah, Zoigel House um, lager specialists, right? There's actually a few lager specialists in the Portland area, so. Let's see, well, so, you know, maybe I'll separate. So the bags are still good, so these bags we actually still use. What is this? Um... Who's this? Oh wait, G GBF gold medal winner? Huh, from who? Von Ebert. Von Ebert got gold at GABF for IPA in 2021. I did not know that. Volatile substance. That's always hype when you get to try GABF gold medal winners, right? I'm, pu I'm pumped for that. Huge deal. Wow, really that recently. Go Von Ebert. Lager brewery and also IPA brewery. Uh, Freem. Freem. Nice. What do we have from Freem? Sparkling IPA. Uh-huh. So this must be their brute IPA. Oh, it's really weird. It, it, it's got the beautiful Freem, like, um, I mean, this is not a, this is not a sticker can. This is actually printed, so they have to order a ton of it, gold and black. But then they put the, like, a sticker on it, like the sparkling IPA part is a sticker. That's pretty interesting. So you actually get to keep the Freem part and then just throw a little sticker on there and you get your label and everything. There's so many beers in here. I wish I had more time to review so many beers. Oh my God. What is this? Original cold IPA. Wayfinder cold IPA. Wow, that's pretty dope. That is pretty dope. Um, that's great. Yeah, Wayfinder cold. The original, like like the trend that's like taking over this country. Well, Katie's gonna help out unbag this because it's gonna take forever. Um, really excited, cold IPA, nice. This is, who is this? Breaks, oh, Breakside. Double dry hopped. Breakside IPA. Hopped up version, wow, Breakside crushes. Breakside's so good. Um, like just known for like being one of the best IPA breweries in that region, but just like, wow, cannot wait to try that out. Ex Novo, another brewery. Uh, Ex Novo, extra bitter, or extra special bitter ale. So um, collaboration with Old Standby, this is gonna be a bitter. Another Block 15 beer. Wait, what, is this Block 15? No, this is Four Tours. Block 15. Sticky Hands. Nice, 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 nice. I've had this before. I think someone sent me this. Nice, another hot bomb from the Northwest. All right, what's this other one? So many beers. Uh, bear Licked. Oh, yeah, Bear Licked. I pay with Stratton and Chinook. I assume it's a hazy. Punk Rock. Punk Rock time. Nice, Bear Lick. Uh, here, I'll show you a Bear Lick right there. 
<laughs> Sorry, though, I got a whole team trying to help me open up some cans. Uh, Ruse, Ruse, yeah. Ruse outside of, uh, someone sent me some Ruse. Uh, they're out of Portland. Oh yeah, Ruse is out of Portland, huh? I didn't know that. Um, I don't know what this date is. They, have like a, they actually have a little sticker on here. Is that the price? I know what that is. Because there's a candy on the bottom. Ruse, this is a uh, Poetic Disco American Style IPA. I assume it's hazy. I think Ruse does hazies. Um, another beer, wow, another Block 15. Brewer's Cut. So I got Sticky Hands, regular version, fresh. Like about a, a month fresh. Wow, it's really fresh. And then this is about, just about like two months fresh. Um, the Brewer's Cut. So it's got like, they're highlighted hot bridles. So what is that? Amarillo, cashmere, chinook, citron, mosaic. Wow, okay, let's try that out. What's another one? Breaks, more breakside, breakside, nice. Um, Splendorous Northwest hops. Tastes, tastes like vinyl sounds. What's this called? What is this? Breakside. Tastes like vinyl sounds. All right, that has to be the name of the beer, right? All right, breakside. All right, I mean, it's up and out. I got a uh, kosh, another kosh. Oh wow, that's on, uh, Wayfinder. That's on Dome, by the way. So that's in Cologne. That's their their bit like the huge, 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 like cathedral or church, or whatever. Wayfinder with a kosh. Um, Little Beast Brewing. All right, I've never heard of them. Uh, Sylvestris, Fruit of Goza, Pinot Noir, Grapes, Goza, Sweet, uh, Fort George, another one. Belmont Station. Yeah, that's where she, that's where you went, Katie, right? Belmont Station. Yeah, I think that's the name of the store. I when I was in Portland, I actually get, didn't get to try it out. Uh, did I go to Belmont Station? I don't think I did. But um, hazy double IPA. Wow. So uh, that's a lot of beer. Um, cost of I mean, ac actually, the shipping I, of it I think was more, more packa packaging and shipping of the beer was about the same price or more than the cost it of the was beer. More because I think I paid like eighty for all of that, and then shipping came out to maybe ninety. Is that really what it costs? I think so. I didn't anyway, think you sent it to her. Probably. Yeah, I think it might have been. It might have been around the same price. It's like the cost of buying packaging material and having her friend send it. Then again, Portland is literally like you'd have to go to Miami to be further in the continental U.S. Yeah. So really far, but that's great. Like these are beers that I'm never gonna get, try unless I go out there. And honestly, so. Like, Shout out to the guy that helped me over there. At the Belmont Pittsburgh. Station, the I guy. I literally just handed him a list of breweries. And if you're watching this Belmont Station, you know who you are that helped out <laughs> Katie in some out. point in June, like mid-June. Um, and then, yeah, of course, shout out to Victoria for taking the time to package yeah, it for me. I yeah, was on a rush to get back. She, yeah, she was trying to rush to get back home and didn't have time to package it all before leaving. So, um, well, and also thank you for the channel. Like, if it weren't for the channel and you guys watching some ads sometimes, I wouldn't be able to afford to buy it. Dumb beer decision like this. So that's pretty cool. That's a lot of beer though. How many do we have? Uh, two, four, 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 seven, ten, eighteen. Wow, that's pretty good. All right, I got a lot of reviews to do. Um, all right, until next time, guys. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Later. <laughs>